right now, there are no approved alternatives to screening besides a low dose CT scan of the chest. In the future, I believe there will be better tests. Uh, but right now, the low dose CT scan of the chest is the only one that has undergone rigorous testing in multiple large trials and has consistently shown a benefit. When we want to do screening for people for lung cancer or any cancer, we want to make sure that this is a test that has really stood up to the um, research component and really shows that we are saving lives, that there is a reduction in mortality. So, so to speak, really want to kick the tires on, on the test before we roll it out to everyone. So right now there are no other screening tests that are approved for lung cancer besides a low-dose CT scan. I do think in the future some blood tests may be possible. A variety of blood tests are underway right now. They are being tested and this would of course be much easier than a low-dose CT scan of the chest. Uh, but the problem is when we're trying to find a lung cancer early and it's just a spot in the lung, it may not show up in the blood work. Uh, so these tests are still underway now to, to be a screening test for lung cancer. Um, similarly, there are tests underway with exhaled breath analysis. So tests where you would breathe into a machine and the machine would analyze components in the breath, um, kind of like odors or, or things that you can't even smell, things that maybe a dog could smell, but not a human could smell in the breath to look for lung cancer. But none of these are ready to roll out to everyone. These are still underway um, in clinical trials. And another tool that might be beneficial to us is something called um, radiomics, or this is a form of artificial intelligence. Um, artificial intelligence is trying to change many fields now and, and lung cancer screening is no different. So in lung cancer screening right now, the way that artificial intelligence is working is that computer programs are reviewing CT scans of the chest to look at other features that human eyes might not be able to detect to determine if something is cancer, um, possibly without a biopsy. So this is still very experimental. But in the future, I do think we will have more tools to screen and diagnose lung cancer. But right now, all we have is the low-dose CT scan of the chest to screen.